What would you do if you get lost? Will you ask for directions? The earth has very interesting and wonderful places that you can visit. From the deep blue sprawling oceans to the vast and green fields and green forests. You can get lost while wandering from these amazing places. What would you do if you get lost? Will you ask for directions? That can be done indeed. However, if there comes a time that you have no one to ask, what will you rely on? A map would be must have. It is a handy tool to aid you in going to different places that you haven't been to. Now the question is, how do you locate places on a map? In this video, you will learn about how to locate places on earth using a coordinate system at the end of this video you should be able to demonstrate how places on earth may be located using a coordinate system before the utilization of coordinates have been introduced people during all times used maps and globes to locate places on earth a map is a two-dimensional drawing that gives a symbolic representation of selected characteristics of a place, usually drawn on a flat surface and is easily carried. The art or science making maps is called cartography, and those experts making maps are known as cartographers. On the other hand, a globe is a three-dimensional representation of the spherical shape of the Earth. A unique feature of a globe is Earth's tilt with respect to, to its north and south poles. It also represents Earth's position relative to the Sun. Through time, both models have undergone modification to represent Earth better. A common feature of maps and globes is the presence of intersecting horizontal and vertically lines to form a Cartesian plane. These imaginary lines form grid collectively known as the Ge Geographic Coordinate System. The geographic coordinate system does not exist but it was drawn as a numerical reference that determines the locations of places. Locating places on a map or globe uses these lines which are represented as degrees since it is assumed that the world is spherical. Most maps usually draw these lines apart at a 50 degree interval. There are two imaginary lines on earth that are used to identify ordinates of a place using a map. The latitude and longitude. It is very necessary to be familiar with the directions to correctly get the coordinates of a given place. Those lines which run horizontally from east to west are called latitudes. Latitudes are parallel to each other. Hence, latitudes do not meet or intersect. The latitude which cut the earth in half, dividing the northern and southern hemisphere, is called the equator. As a reference point, 
the equator is read as zero degree latitude. The degree increases as it approaches the two poles which are read as 90 degrees. 90 degrees north latitude or 90 degrees south latitude. Here are some notable latitudes on the globe. The Arctic Circle is the latitude 66 degrees north. All locations falling north of this latitude are said to be in the Arctic Circle. The latitude 23 degree north is also known as the Tropic of Cancer. It marks the northernmost position of the Earth where the sun is directly overhead at least once a year. This happens during the June solstice. When the Earth's northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun, the Antarctic Circle, on the other hand, is the latitude 66 degrees south. Any locations falling south of these latitudes are said to be on the Antarctic Circle. The Tropic of Capricorn is the latitude that lies 23 degrees south of the equator and it is the southernmost position of the globe where the sun is directly overhead during the December solstice. Lines that run from the north to south are called longitudes. The longitude which passes through Greenwich, England is called the Prime Meridian. Prime Meridian divides the western and eastern hemisphere of the world. As a reference point, the Prime Meridian is read as zero degree longitude. The degree increases as it moves westward or eastward until it reaches the longitude opposite to the prime meridian which is what we call anti-meridian. Now let's learn how to locate places on earth using coordinate system by following the simple steps. First, identify the latitude which intersect the location. Determine the number of degrees from the equator and after writing the value, indicate its direction as north or south from the equator. Second, identify the longitude which intersects the location. Instead of the equator, use the prime meridian as the reference point and determine the distance or degrees from it and after getting the value, Indicate the place direction as east or west from the prime meridian. Last step, merge the two values along with their directions. Write the latitude first, then the longitude separated by a comma. The coordinates represents the intersections specific to a location. Manila has a coordinates of 14 degrees north and 121 degrees east. It's quiz time! Our activity for today is entitled, It's More Fun in the Philippines. Direction, locate the famous places in the Philippines which attracts foreign and local tourists with the use of your maps.
different technologies in the form of application have emerged to easily guide us on the place that we wanted to be in. Despite this, we must learn to cope up by not unlearning the traditional. That ends our lesson and I hope this simple video has helped you to learn how to locate places using the coordinate system through the use of a map or globe.